Hello YouTube, I'd like to do an um, update video on my Bioactive Leopard Gecko enclosure. What you're seeing on screen here is a video that I've done a few months back um, showcasing this enclosure off, explaining his warm eyes and his cool eyes and so on, plants and stuff like that. Um, a lot of this has changed um, over the over the recent months. I'll explain to you what I've, what I've done, I'll show you this new warm hide, how, how I've done that. Um, explain you what I've got planned for the future and some of the um, difficulties that I've faced in this current setup. Um, okay, so I'll show you the new enclosure now. So, as you can see, the first standout change is, is his new warm hide. So, if I just take you back to the old one for a second. One thing I noticed straight away is if I wanted to get inside this warm hide, taking off these bits of slate and then putting them back on again was um, was not very convenient. It was actually quite difficult to put them back in a, in an order that was safe for the lizard and also easy for me to get to the lizard. So I had to change this up um, quite fast really because the gecko was actually starting to grow. He, he was not a baby any, um, really anymore. He was, you know, he was getting much more bigger and trying to get into between all these little cracks and stuff. It just, it just wasn't, wasn't ideal at all. So, if we go back to the enclosure, you'll see now things are much more easier. Before I open up, let me just show you the temperatures and all that. All absolutely spot on. There's, um, warm temperatures, really, really good. Um, the lighting systems all remain the same. I think. I was using a black um, light light holder. I bought the new uh, Arcadia one just to keep everything, you know, Arcadian really, and it looks it looks much more cleaner. Um, yeah, let's let's open it up. Still some um, locusts in here. He yeah, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I feed them. I miss a day, so I, I feed them. Then miss a day, so he's got like two days to to get to these insects. So, as you can see, the, the warm hide now, um, I've designed it in a way that literally I only have to take this off, these off, and that's one big slate, just lifts off, and I get to see it all inside. Um, so if I want to do anything, if I need to do anything, it's, you know, it's, it's much more accessible. And to me, it also looks cleaner and, um, and better. I, I, I actually really do think it looks better. You'll probably be able to see it. Um, He's just sleeping right, right there. Well, he's actually not sleeping because I probably woke him up. But yeah, um, his wall, his wall really, really pitch black, which is the way you want it to be for them. There's multiple ways in, ways in here. Got some um, beetle food. I'll show you some of the um, some of the, some of the other insects that live in here in a minute. I won't be able to show you them all though because some of them hide away during the daytime. This wet hides just still remain the same. Done some of this up, added more stones and rocks and stuff to make it look a little um a little better, more climbing. Plus it's helpful for the um, the insects that are living in here. Um changed the water dish up, made it a, a much higher one to protect the, the beetles not living here. Put stones in so they don't drown. Um, there's two um but yeah, well, these these are from the super worm beetles. But you forgot what they were called then. Uh, in here also there's loads of um mealworms. You can see one guy right there. Um if I was to lift this up you will see there's a bunch of um, isopods as well and springtails all living underneath there. Just saying, put this down without squashing them beetles. I'm gonna do that right now, would I? Make sure he's okay. There we go. Right, so also inside here is four blue death farthing beetles. Now I'm not going to be able to show you these guys because they just hide away during the daytime. When the lights go off is when they start um, 
and they start coming out. Um, I can put some maybe some pictures on screen and show you them. But right now, yeah, there's four of them, and uh, it looks like I've got three females and and um, and one um, one male. So the rest of the enclosure, in terms of the background, all remains the same. I have done some of this, um, just decorated this all up and made it a little bit more woody looking but you'll notice some of the plants are not looking very good so for me looking after plants was never sort of you know paid much attention to i've never i've never really messed with plants to be honest with you um so this is a first for me so trying to understand of what i've done wrong and what i can change um this plant that was here I just pulled out because it died. This um, plant here is dying, but I'll probably just get get rid of it at some point. This one keeps um, like it wants to die and then keeps coming back again, so I'm just going to leave that. But I have got two new ones growing. There's one here from the snake plant, and there's also one back there as well. So they they're just growing them. They just came out, popped out. Which is kind of cool. So my plan in the future is to probably just pull this one out completely. Probably get rid of this one. I'm just going to get loads of grass instead of plants. And grass all this area up. Um, I think it'll look better. Underneath here I just have some food for, for more beetles and stuff like that. I just throw the bits of carrot and stuff underneath there for for some of them. Um, his, his cool eyed still... Nice and cool, remains the same. Um, I, I made this little, glued this all together and used um, sealant to stick this to this. So that just created the extra place to hide. Um, and I think that's it really. I don't think there's anything more I can really say other than for the most part the enclosure is doing actually okay the plants are, are questionable um, one mistake that I did get told I was doing when I was spraying this down um, I was spraying directly onto the plants so I was just giving them like water uh, I've been told in forums that that's not how I should be doing it um, I should be actually just watering straight into the root um, so basically when I've been watering on here, it's been sitting on here, the heat of the light and stuff like that has actually just been burning the plants out. Plus also I like to give the um, the lizard the chance to hunt his food and as you can see there, um, there's a locust actually eating on the plants which also doesn't help. Then I have a lot of hungry mealworms in here as well which I'm assuming probably doesn't help. One of the biggest mistakes I think I did make is actually putting mealworms in this enclosure. The superworms are, are fine. I have no problem with them, but the mealworms breed like crazy. Um, so every time I see a mealworm beetle, I've actually been taking it out and getting rid of it. Um, and I've been putting them inside. I have two little bioactive um, enclosures. So this one is, you're not going to be able to see it, there's, there's crickets in there. And then this one down here is... Um, is Got locusts in. Um, yeah, the reflection on them tanks are really, really bad. They're just plastic enclosures with some of this um, soil in and stuff like that. So, yeah. Oh, and I got, I got this created as well, which I think is really cool. So, yeah, overall, I'm quite happy with how, how it's turning out. I need to get better with plants and stuff like that. Probably gonna add grass in instead of plants because when the grass dies, it goes like a um, like a desi savanne kind of look. So it, it, they do they do still look quite quite cool. Um, I would like to get better with plants, but right now I don't think that's gonna be the case. I would like to show you the um, do the beetles that I've got, but sadly. They're not gonna. Uh, they're not gonna come out during the daytime. But yeah, 
that's the updated enclosure thanks for watching guys